Good morning. Surprise. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Surprise. Say hey when you jump on so I know you're there. Hey Cindy, welcome. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. And, oh, I forgot my bucket. Let me go get it. gonna say look what's back for today hey Kelly how are you I haven't done a bucket drawer in a very long time guys it's back for today how are you We're adding to fall decor today. Hey, Kim, how are you? I'm thinking Kim likes lemons. Are you like a lemon girl, Kim? Hey, Lisa. Ah, uh, thanks, Kelly. Thank you so much. The bucket, I'm bringing the bucket back. Hey, Teresa, good morning to you too. Is everybody just like hanging out at home this morning? Lemons, I kind of figured that out, Kim. <laughs> I figured that out. Last year, was it? Oh, have you never seen the bucket, Kelly? Um, so last year or the year before, I can't even remember. Um, the whole, two years ago, it was the whole summer was about lemon, lemons. Everything I did, everything Chuck Couture did. There were so many lemons in my house for things that I made and props. And I had a wheelbarrow of lemons. I was throwing lemons away when they were artificial lemons <laughs> by mistake. Everything was just, I did one of the biggest wreaths I ever did, a chalk couture wreath uh, with lemons. And um, it was, I th it was an E-size transfer anyways, but I opened it up and it was huge, huge. Yeah, I got to do some errands too, but I needed to craft. Am I selling anything lemons? Um, you know, I still have that grove, that pink grove. Let me show it to you. But I've sold all my regular lemons. So I think I did this, oh, I just stepped on a pin y'all and I do not have shoes on. Um, I did this with the lemon on it. Do you remember that? This would be for sale. This one I did last month, I think. There's lemons and cherries. I have lemons and cherries. But that piece is for sale. Lisa loves lemons too. Yeah, you know, I should take some of those. I don't, I don't like taking the older transfers out because you all can't buy them anymore unless they come out of retirement, like if they come out of the vault that they do. Um, so it's hard because if I show you an old transfer and you love the design, then you can't get the transfer. All right, Sim, uh, Kim, I'll send you a message. I think it's on my shop uh, website. Let's see if it's over there. If not, I'll send you a message. Everybody loves lemons. I don't think, lemons ever go out, right? I think lemons, are, but I do have a lemon tree. I have a fake lemon tree. And like I said, I was doing, I did kits with lemons in them. 
So I did kits with lemons in them. I did, gosh, I did so many lemons. I did tea towels. I inked a bunch of um, pillows and tea towels with lemons on them. I'll, actually, I can find, I, I know I have the pictures. I can show you the pictures. And then I do sell my older transfers. If you, you know what, just, you know, go back in history and see if there's any of the transfers you like and let me know if I still have them. I sell my old transfers. Oh, <laughs> and there you go. All right, guys, so let's burn. Burn, baby, burn. We're gonna keep adding on to this fall decor. And um, so, you know, we chalk pasted. We did some boho pumpkins. We did some farmhouse pumpkins. And now we're just gonna keep adding. But I need to explain the bucket. Every time I bring the bucket out, you know, it's for a different reason. Go ahead and invite your friends to this live text them tag them do whatever you want if you have any friends showing up today for this live just give them a shout out say hello to them and your name's gonna go in the bucket somebody's gonna win a gift I love Saturday giveaways and I haven't done them in a long time so if you have any craft like friends go ahead and tag them Text them, share the video, and your name will go in the bucket, okay? But make sure that they join us during the live, and then just let me know, and I'll put your name in the bucket. We love the bucket, guys. I actually saw it this morning, and I was like, I, ha I have to get a ladder to get it down. It's like, I gotta bring the bucket out. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna burn today. Okay, and we are gonna make this into a little like charcuterie tray, okay? Still available, I checked. And it's half price, so um, this is a non chocature surface. So if you do want it when I'm done, um, all the information will be over in the VIP lounge. So I will have the item numbers for everything I used, okay? just in case you wanna see this. All right, the first thing I wanna do though is, and make sure you shout out if anybody joins us. And if I miss you during the live, I will get back to you, okay? I promise. Thanks, Teresa. Okay, let's, let's bring them over. All right. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this instead of, you know, because it's oblong and this is, so they have the, actually both sizes are on sale. This is the medium size. I'm assuming it's gonna be like a nine by 12. Hold on. Twelve, yeah, nine by 12. All right, so this is the medium size and they have one bigger. I have used the bigger one but I just don't have it. I mean, I don't have any more, so that's why I didn't take it out. But what I want to use today, it will be fine. But just know that they do have, um, I don't know how, I'm, this is a nine by 12, so I'm thinking maybe the bigger one is a 10 by 13, okay? It's a couple of inches bigger on both sides. So just remember that when we're working on this. But this I do want, I wanna stain these legs. I'm only gonna put, I'm only going to put three legs on because of the shape. We're not going to make like rectangle or a square, okay? So because of the shape, I'm only going to put three legs. So I do want to stain it just so they, it can dry, okay? And just like when I chalk paste or use our paste to paint or use any kind of paint, really, for this type of stuff, I am not super worried about it being perfect because I like the imperfections. I 
don't know which side I'm going to use, so let me go ahead and, only because I don't know what size I'm going to use, or side, let me go ahead and stain everything. Let me think about this, though. I think I'm going to put it down like that. So let's make that the prettier side. Okay, and this stain I'm using is just English chestnut, it's a min wax. Oh my god, that is so weird. <laughs> you know, something always happens. The place where I buy all my wood, unfinished wood, is sending me a message right now. How weird is that? Hey, Becky, good morning. I'm like, oh my God, that's the funniest thing. Well, maybe I need to buy some more unfinished wood, huh, guys? That was weird. We are gonna make like a little charcuterie board today. Becky, we're burning. If this is your first time watching too, please say hey. I really do want to welcome you. This is a, I think I just splashed stain all over me. This is a great group here, guys. They are listening. They are listening. Oh my gosh. They are listening. And that's weird because I have my do not disturb on. So how does that even happen? It's Saturday. It is Saturday. All right. So this, I'm telling you guys, this is a quick and easy project. The hottest, not hottest, but the longest thing is going to be for, to let this stain. I'll dry it. I'll, um. Hurry it up a little bit. I'll add my um, heat gun to it. I might actually distress that up a little anyways. Okay. I guess that's it. That was like the weirdest thing, wasn't it? I don't know if that's ever happened. They're still up there. I don't know why they're up there. <laughs> I have my little... Let me just bang this a little. Okay. And those legs that I'm using are short ones. I'll measure them for you. I have, you know, a lot of larger ones too. But because this is a smaller board, I really wanted to use the smaller legs. I think they're one and a half, I think. Two inches. All right, let's put this over here to dry. Okay, do we have any friends visiting yet? All right, like I said, I do have the number. I checked, these are still available and they are 50% off today, guys. So that's always good, right? So if you want the numbers to all um, the products that I'm using, it will be available in the VIP lounge after. You know, this is an old piece of wood because it is falling apart. All right, so how 
how do I? So the first thing you need to decide is, and let me just use these. I'm, I'm working on another project and these are the colors I'm using again today. I swear these are the colors I've been using all week. Do I want that side? Ooh, that's pretty with the knot. Uh, I like the way that looks too. All right. So we are going to use one pot of our autumn sayings, okay? And I have ideas for all of these. I actually have a kit going on. Um, but because I was going to make this into a charcuterie board, I thought the gather and gobble would be cute for this one. And I think on this side it's just giving me more room. And I don't, oh my gosh, I don't know if that knot is going to be in the way. So let's do this side. that sign. Okay. Is that side one to you, Becky? I'm going to burn. So, I like this side better, but this burn, this might get in the way of the burn. So I'm going to use that side. I don't know, is that one side one or side two for you? Look at this, it's just crumbing off. And you don't even have to buy these. You can go in your backyard and cut down a tree, right? Oh, okay. All right. Now, because I am torch pacing, I um, don't need to do this. But I do want to clean off anything that might be on it. What do I like? Oh, Becky, but you know what? When it's upside down, oh, I guess you can, because it'll be up. No, we'll be okay. I was going to say you can't see the wood, but yes, you can. Yes, you're right, Tracy, you're right. Because you're putting that intense heat on it. And I just don't know where this design's gonna fall. So, all right. So the piece I wanna use is the gathering gobble, right? So let's go ahead and cut that off. And it's a brand new transfer and I can't wax this piece of wood because I'm torching it and the wax would melt. So what I'm going to have to do is make sure I fuzz, fuzz, and fuzz this. And by that, I mean just get a lot of lint on the back of it, which will help me pull it up off of that surface when it's time. Oh, I love these. I actually ordered a lot of them. I'm making kits out of these sayings with a, um, so I planned ahead and I ordered, but I mean, these are still available too. You gotta get on, Teresa, what's holding you back, girl? You need to stop ordering. Okay, that message is not going away. How, I, th that's still so weird to me, guys. What is the deal they're giving me? Well, if it's a good deal, I'll pass it on, guys. All right, what's everybody's plans for this weekend? Anybody pooling it? And 
and pop up. I know. Not weird. I've had those, um, are they Amazon plugs or Alexa plugs? I can't remember which one. Where like you can plug your lights into them or anything. And at the end of the night you can say, you know, Alexa shut the bedroom light or whatever. I've yet to use any of those plugs. I just haven't plugged any of them in yet. All right, so this is more than normal. But again, I'm not using wax on that. Um, if I was using our chalk paste, I would definitely just throw some wax down. But because I'm gonna be using a heat gun, I don't wanna melt the wax. All right. And it definitely goes this way. You know what? Why stop there? Because look what else I took out for a different project I'm working on. We might add this leaf, guys. I was using this for something else. Let me see. Oh, two of them would look pretty. One would look pretty. I think I, okay, no, I definitely have stain on my, I think I'm gonna add this leaf. I was actually using this for a different project. <sighs> you never know. All right, let's go ahead and, so you can see I've definitely used this in the past. Um, but again, I'm not putting wax down on that, so I really wanna get some lint on the back of this. So will it be food safe? So this torch paste I was reading, um, it conforms to everything, but I will put a um, food safe spray on it. I really do think once it's burned, it's fine. I, I can't say one way or another because it's not 100% sure it listed anywhere, but I actually have talked to the people who made this. Um, so first of all, I'm burning it. Okay. So that's a good thing. And then you can put, there is a food safe spray. Now, a lot of people don't like the food safe spray. So it's one of those to each their own but I can tell you what I'm gonna do, if you wanna know. All right. Now, the good thing about using torch paste is it goes on just like our paste, right? But you can take your time, for sure. I don't want this to fall, and I don't want it anyway. Um, you can take your time, so I'll probably put it down, wash the transfer. I do want to make sure I get the chalk paste, on, I'm sorry, the torch paste off. It does not ruin our transfers at all, but I just don't want it sitting with paste on it. And this is going to go, I kind of want to do two, I think. I'll have to see how much room I have. All right, are we ready? This is too big. All right, super easy to put on, super, super easy. Just like our paste, 
You want to get it through all that open mesh area. Get a good coat on. Now you don't want to have an oopsie because if you don't see your oopsie and you have your heat gun, you're going to be burning something you may not want to burn. Just scrape it off. Super, super easy. Now I have given my designers this information on this this is not a chalk couture project uh, product. I have given my customers the information on this as well as designers on my team. So if it's something that you're interested in, you can buy this. There's, there's so many places that sell torch paste. If you want to know about this brand, just put torch paste in the comments and I'll get back to you. Okay. All right, so this is what it looks like. Okay. But it's gonna look burned when we're done. And then, let me see if I can do this without, I think, I'm gonna put one here. I might have one hanging off. Let's do this one first. And just like any other time you use our transfers, you want to make sure you get all those air bubbles out, okay? So this leaf was um, part of a different um, fall transfer from last year. But of course, if you look at our new catalog, we have leaves. We have leaf cut wooden cutouts and we have transfers. So we'll be using those. We'll probably make some stuffies one. I think I'm going to stick with one. Because I don't All right. I'm going to ask. Stick with one. Okay. Hey Angie. All right. So stick with one, I wouldn't do that, right? Cause you know me. Or should I have another one falling? I don't want it to be too, um, it might be overcrowded. What do you think, one or two? Cause normally I would put three and there's not enough room for three without it looking crazy. I don't think I think I'm gonna stick with one guys one guys you are my experts all right so like I said normally I wait to wash this but let's go ahead and wash it now
And this is the beauty of using torch paste too, is you can so take your time, guys. So you just want to make sure it just like the paste you just want to make sure you have everything out of that open mesh area okay and I did a good job fuzzing because I don't have any um, particle from the board itself That's it, we're gonna let this dry. Let's take this guy. Okay, do we have any new friends joining yet? Torch paste doesn't stain um, the transfers like our paste does. And again, if your transfer is stained, it, there's nothing wrong with it. So long as you have the paste out of all that open mesh area, you're good. All right, so this one's done too. We'll let this dry. Good to go, right? Just wait till she burns, it's so cool. I know. So hopefully, hopefully I can get it done without smoke alarms going off. Because remember I'm inside. And I do this inside all the time, but if it's a longer, bigger project, sometimes the smoke alarms could go off. So if that happens, We will shut it down and come back. All right, ready? Now, I have plexiglass on this and I learned my lesson the hard way, so. Let me raise it a little bit and put a cloth under it. The, guys, you know what these are. I use these for everything when I craft <laughs> everything. Thanks, Sherry. All right, here we go. Now the stronger your heat gun, obviously the better. This one isn't very, very hot. Um, you can use this. This doesn't get very hot either. This may cause smoke. I'm gonna hold off on that. actually do a little voodoo stain over this too. We'll see. I'm burning again. All right, so tell me. Oh, you've never seen this. 
Yeah, be careful. So I learned that the hard way. The first time I did this on my desk, um, I burnt my desk. The um, my plexiglass walked. It came up. But this is great to use like on the rounds, the wooden rounds. You just got to make sure your surface is clean, like not shiny. You can't have any kind of layer of anything on it. So even though this didn't have a layer on it of anything, it really truly is just a slice of a tree. I still sanded it down just a little bit. All right, so. Hey, Ruth. Welcome. So we're gonna do a giveaway. So if you've invited a friend and they're here today, let me know. We're doing a special Saturday giveaway, okay? So I did use one of my Chalk Couture transfers, right? Nothing happens to the transfer by using the torch paste. Oh, I'm glad we turned this over because that knot is having a little bit of trouble burning over the knot. It did, but um, I think Teresa's, I mean, she's right what she says, like it can get sappy and it can open. So even though I really liked the way it looked, oh, let me get that so it doesn't stain the floor just saw that this was crinkling, so that means I'm too close to it. All right, so who has gotten the, um, the Autumn Sayings transfers? Have any of you guys gotten them yet? So I'll be putting a kit together with those. And it'll include the transfer, the surface, the embellishments, and the paste. And then over in the VIP lounge, I actually um, posted this this morning. If you want to join, we're going to do a gnome kit. If you have any interest in that at all. It'll be for Halloween. There'll be one for the fall, and there will be one for Christmas. So if you're into gnomes, guys, I am not into gnomes at all. I've never made one. I will display them, um, but I'm not a gnome fanatic. Um, I think some of them are the cutest, but I've just never really been into them. But I love that I can chalk paste a gnome. So I'm really excited about those ordered and they ship like just now ordered oh no ship oh all right so that's the other thing if you all uh, placed an order on launch day your order should be shipped no later than today so they were anticipating the last of the orders would be going out today if yours hasn't already shipped It's not easy to heat set stain. I have to use my blow dryer. Yeah, I'll use my blow dryer. So that's pretty cool, right?
to get it all over the place, and I'm getting it all over the place. It's super easy, right? These are still going to be wet going on. We'll have to fix that. I should have stained those before I went live. All right, so the other thing I wanted to let you know is if you continue to burn, like if you want, let me show you, like if you want dark spots, I'm going to put a stain on this, a voodoo stain, but if you want dark spots, you know, don't feel like you just got to go over the design. You can add some burn marks to this, All right? It almost looks like you finished it off a little bit. We'll see. Just like really subtle. I tried it and burned my three feet before I glued them on. Yeah, so those are still wet. I'm still going to use them. I should have done it before I came live. All right, let's put a little light stain on this. Now you could use a, um, like I have a chalk teak dock wax. You can use any type of wax. I'm not gonna use a wax because it's technically a board, right? You don't have to put anything technically, it's like done. It really is pretty much done right now. So the that so the 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 bleh. <laughs> I just oh I just burned my thing. So this is just a heat gun. Right? Is that what you're talking about? Or are you talking about the, the paste? And so this is just kind of like darkening it up a little bit. Bring it up there. All right, I'm getting rid of that. Okay. All right. This is my the voodoo stain that I use. Um, I use it a lot if you need oh my god guys I cannot speak today um I will put that in the VIP lounge when we're done I've um it's guys <laughs> oh my god 
I, and I have not been drinking, and I did not drink last night. What is my deal? I can't, maybe I'm hungry. That is hysterical. Angie, I will get you the information. All right. Now, the one thing you can do too, is you can finish this with a wax, right? Again, you don't have to. It just helps with that dryness. All right, so if you don't wanna add the legs, this would look really pretty just, you know, set up on a counter. Um, like in a plate stand or something. All right, so let me dry this a little bit. Now, technically, you would never hot glue wet stain, right? So there's a good chance that these will fall off later on today, but just so I can show you what it looks like. I always like you always see most of the time when I go live I really do prefer to do this kind of stuff ahead of time for this reason to make sure the tops and the bottoms are what's really dry. Um, the rest can dry on its own. I just bounced out. Did you guys bounce out? That was weird. Just bounced me off my lab. There you are. Hey, Christine. All right, so, so long as the bottom and the tops are dry, I'm not gonna worry about the sides so much, okay? And for some reason, I'm like, the wheels going round and around. All right, so this is what it looks like right now. I am gonna put feet on it because this will become like a little appetizer board, charcuterie board. is going to be a little probably like that this might be let me make sure it's not walked before I actually glue it might be okay This will be hot. All right, give that one more second. And um, I'm waiting on that. 
I still have a few left of the spooky kits. Very inexpensive, guys. Um, so if you want a spooky kit, if you don't have the um, link, just write spooky kit and I'll get it to you. There are a few left. Um, I sold most of them. I had one person buy some this morning and I did get notification that I'm low. So that means there's less than five sets left, okay? So if you would like a spooky kit, just let me know. And obviously you can, you don't need legs, but, and if you did have legs, you can put them high or low. You know, it also would be a great idea, guys. This does come in two sizes. So you can actually um, have the larger one at a lower level and have the medium size one at a higher level. They're two different sizes. That would be really nice. Sand the end you're going to hop. Oh, you're right. Now that I'm almost done, that would have been a good idea, Becky. Technically, I shouldn't have even, st I wasn't sure which side I was gonna put it on, which is why I did that. But yeah, that would, that's actually a great idea. For next time. You love the, I love the spooky kit too. So did you see the, um, so you know, those are the, the baby boos, right? So these are the baby boos. You get two in a kit, right? And here's the mama boo. We did the mama boo. I thought she was kind of cute. Okie dokie. Can I get where you bought wood slabs? Yeah, so I'm going to list all the information on my in the VIP lounge. Kathleen, after this is over. Now I know you can't, I'm going to try and show it to you. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that. First of all, I'll take pictures. Okay, but, all right, that's the front, right? But now you got a little tray, you got a little cheese board, guys. Do you love? So that's probably what I would do. If I got the two, first of all, they're half price. The, this is, um, four dollars I think it's on sale right now um so you could and then there's a bigger one so I would do the bigger one with the smaller legs and then probably let me see if I have so I would do like I would do the bigger one on the with the smaller legs okay so see, I, first of all, I've got all different size legs, but just just like even a half inch or an inch taller, you would do you could do the medium size one, so you could have like one board and two boards. How cute is that, right? Let me show you this closer. Hey Deb, how are you?
Oh, this way. And then those are the legs. I have a, a food safe spray. I tried by sharing courage and all I could do is no reply must be busy. How you been, Deb? All right. So that's our gather and gobble. I thought that one would be cute on the board. You could use any of these, y'all. So th these are the other three that I didn't use. So you could do um, grat especially for Thanksgiving, gratitude would be a pretty one on the bigger one too. Or you can even do just a pattern. You could do like a fall pattern, like leaves or um, buffalo plaid. You could do a pattern. Maybe I'll do one of those next. So um, there's two rule, there's three rules of thumb, the right way, the wrong way, and your way. So let me, do I have anything good I can, do I have fake food I can put on here? Oh, well, we wouldn't be serving uh, lemon cupcakes, but oh, you got yourself a little bored. Um, so let me tell you, so this is, you know, approved. It's not my product, so I can't guarantee it, okay? Um, I have a spray that I use that is food safe, and it's, um, but every, and you can purchase it at Home Depot, Lowe's. Uh, do they have it at Hobby Lobby? I'll check, I can't remember. Um, and some people say it's fine, and other people are like, not really. I'm okay with it. Um, on my so I sprayed this so you could actually put trays down and stuff. The other option is to get, I have a glass cutter, a vendor that I do business with that cuts me glass for any shape size I want. You can put a piece of glass on it. The one thing I wouldn't do is use it as um, like a cutting board because this is actually soft wood, okay? Remember, I got it at a craft store. If you purchase it, you know, if you use a round that we purchase at Home Depot or stuff like that, those are hard, you can cut on them. But this is soft wood, so I probably wouldn't use this as a cutting board. So if you're gonna do cheeses or meats or stuff like that, I would probably have them pre-cut. That would be my suggestion, okay? Because I think if you start cutting into, cutting like cheese on this type of a board, you're gonna end up getting mocks, okay? Does that make sense? <gasps> Becky, right. Becky's so good. Hold on. Hold on. That would be, I should do like a little, I should get like a little turkey to take a picture of this, right? So. Just because you said it. <laughs> would you also spray seal it if you use it? Yes, I would. Personally, I would. Um, sometimes. So this, I would definitely spray now because I put voodoo stain on it. Had I not put a stain on it to darken it up, I wouldn't have done anything. I wouldn't have sprayed it because it's not paste. It's not going. This is burned. It's not coming up. But I just made it darker looking. Um, with, you know, I did the stained feet and to me, the opening area was, there was too much real estate in the lighter color wood for me. And I darkened it with stain and that stain that I used is not food safe. Now you can actually find food safe wax. like. Um, so I use the, um, like some 
many waxes in here, guys. So like this one I know is food safe, non-toxic. Right, so I have waxes that are food safe. Now I could have used this dock wax, the Chalk Teak dock. It would have been too dark for that. Um, we can talk. <laughs> I, I would spray it because I put stain on it. If I didn't put stain on it, I wouldn't spray it. So depending on, so this is how, so look how light it was. I love, I love coming on Saturdays because I feel like I can play teacher a little bit. So see how white it was? So to me, that was too white looking with the burn. Okay. Now, had I just burned it on this side and not stained it, then I wouldn't even worry about it. Terry, where have you been? Hey, Julianne. So, that's what I would do, or not do, right? Totes, up to you. Okay, so do we have, did we have any new friends show up that you know of? Nobody's in the bucket. We took the bucket out, Terry. Let me know if you have any new friends that showed up. Just never know. I may came back today. I, I'm actually working on. Hey, Deb. Thank you. I want them to enjoy. Oh, Kim, that's awesome. I'm. That's me too. So that's why, I, because I put stain on it. I'm saying it's not. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Had I not put the stain on it, you're fine. But because I put the stain on it, I would not put food on it. Yeah, do you know, if you knew they came by, just let me know. Um, all right. So does anybody have any questions? So over in the VIP lounge, if you're not a member of the VIP lounge and you want to be, want to be, um, just comment VIP and I will send you a link. We cannot add people into a private group anymore. Facebook has changed that. So I actually need to send a invite by email. So put VIP with your email and I will send you a link to the VIP page. Non-designers only. No designers, not even from a competitive company. I've had people pretending to be other people. So you can't be a designer, okay? That's not fair to my regular VIPs. Um, I know the bucket is back. The bucket's back. Hey, Jane. Jamie. Um, would be cute with a candle. Well, Deb, don't you go anywhere. because I've cut one of those too. Oh, I actually have one right in back of me. It look cute with so many things. Now I wanna, so I don't have the, um, I've already used the large one for another project, but now I wanna go out and get the bigger one, guys. And now I'm hungry, <laughs> bye. <laughs> I didn't want to go shopping today. Maybe I'll just order it online. When I, when I give you guys the link, I may just go ahead and order another one online. Okay. All right. So any questions about this? If you have any questions about chalk couture in general, please message me. I would love to answer any questions that you have, okay? Our club couture as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'll even tell you what I 
while to go in. Hey, have you gone to the new one yet in Prosper, Becky? Have you gone to the new one? Guys, I have one, two, three. I have four Hobby Lobbies um, within 10 minutes of me. 10 to 15, 15 minutes max if I go to the one out on 423, which most of you don't know what that means. Four Hobby Lobbies, 10 minutes for me. That way, that way, that way, and that way. Crazy. None behind me. Where do I buy my fake food? Well, I have a vendor for that too. I'll get you that information. No, that's what I'm saying. I cannot believe I haven't been to it. All right, so uh, let me also tell you something. I really try to, if I'm going to Michael's, Joanne, not so much Joanne's. It's hard to do anything online at Joanne's. Um, Michael's, Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, anything like that. I, I'm online 90% of the time. Um, one, I wait for the free shipping, uh, Hobby, I'm not sure if Michaels does this, somebody cor or find out for me, but Hobby Lobby, uh, one great thing about Hobby Lobby guys is if you put stuff in your cart, it stays there until you check out. It could be in there for a month. Okay. So I love being able to do that. Like I'll be working at night and think, oh my God, I just ran out of that ribbon. Let me grab some from Hobby Lobby. But I don't want to just have one spool of ribbon shipped to me. So I'll just throw it in the cot, right? Then, now they took away the 40%. But I always wait for free shipping. Now, I may have lost a 50% off coupon. But if I'm buying a $3 ribbon and it's 50% off, and I lose it because I got free shipping, I'm okay with that. All right, so, you know, it's it's a gamble, um, but I never pay for shipping at Hobby Lobby. I always wait for free shipping. And guys, I spend so much less money when I do it online because when I'm in Hobby Lobby, like, I'm just like, I can be in there for a very long time. And then I buy stuff that I don't need. Like, I have a lot of stuff that when I'm in there, I'm thinking, oh my God, that would make the cutest thing. And it's up on a shelf and I have not made the cutest thing with it. So, um, so, hey, Stacy, you're going today? Um, yeah, so, I know, I, as far as those stores, I am. Hey, Deb. Hey, Debbie. Deb Jones, are you for real? You didn't know that? Oh my, and you know, mostly all the hobby, so uh, since they have changed and taken away the 40%, um, they've changed their ways a little bit. Like they used to promote free shipping like on a weekend or something like that. Now it's a lot of times they'll carry it for a week, which they never did. Um, but like the porch leaners, guys, You know, you saw me do the harvest one last week, right? So, or two weeks ago. I don't think I ever took a picture of the harvest one I did. It's right there. Did I ever post it? All right, so this right here was 50% off, okay? So I bought like a bunch of them because I don't go to Home Depot and cut wood and will never have my husband do that for me. He's too busy. So not only were these 50% off, but it was free shipping for like oh, $50 and over. So I think I bought eight of these and they all came free shipping. Right. No. Yeah, so let me show you the finished one I did. So these come in four different sizes. So this was 60 inches. Then I think there's 48 inches. When you get in the smaller ones, I would rather buy a chalk couture board. But, um, so they have these, right? And then, yeah, I don't 
think I ever posted a picture of the finished one. So it's hard to see from back here, but this was, um, and it's a great size. I mean, this is a great size. And I think I've given you guys, I told you guys all about my tricks. Um, depending on where you put this, like because we're renting this house while we're building the new one, which we still don't have a permit for. That's a whole nother cup of Joe story, okay? But um, so, um, the, you know, I would put this in the house. But if you're putting that up, putting it outside, um, you can use hot glue. I all in my other house because we lived um, on the lake. Um, so I would hot glue it and stick it right to the brick. That way the air doesn't get underneath it and keep knocking it over. And then you can always break it away from the brick and that you know, wax you can pick right off. I know, so, how, all right, let me tell you how much, I, I already, I posted that link previously. I can post it again if you want. But these were, let me get you the price. Um, $50. So they were $50 that size. So like I said, there's, they have four or five, six different sizes, but that 60 inch one was $50, but I got it 50% off and I paid free shipping. So for $25, it's, you know, it really is a great porch leaner that you can build yourself. Not build, but add to it, right? All right, what else? Because it's Saturday and I can just talk all day if you want me to. What size do you normally use? So people usually use six, so a normal size porch leaner is six feet or eight feet. To me, that would be based on your ent entryway, where you're putting it. If you're putting it in a house, I wouldn't go, well, no, I would. In my old house, I could do eight feet inside. Depends on your ceilings. So not normal porch leaners are anywhere from six to eight feet. Normal. It is. It's a great deal. Now, Deb, you gotta get online and start shopping. All right. I feel like I need to go shopping myself. <laughs> Guys, what did I use that piece of wood for? I can't remember. I can't remember, but now I feel like I need to go buy the bigger one again. I have to um, maybe go get some pumpkin pie because now I'm hungry. And guy, oh, the other thing I'm doing today, so, um, some of my VIPs took part in a transfer train. And although I'm still waiting on, uh, Marilyn, I got the transfer you sent me, but I'm still waiting on the transfer train to come back to me. Um, but I plan on putting that video together today. So um, once a year, I select a special transfer and um, I have volunteers in my VIP group that would like to partake in this transfer train and they make their own design. And the transfer keeps going and going and going until you can't do use it anymore. So I have all those photos I need to, I want to put a um, video together. I need to get that done. So hopefully I'll get to that this week sometime. All right. I'm going to Hobby Lobby today. <laughs> I'm staying out of Hobby Lobby. My Hobby Lobby online orders are always like $100 or more. Very rarely are they under $100, but when you when I check out, it's like you just saved $73 and have free shipping. It's crazy. All right. 
I think that's it for today, guys. I hope you like my little burn project. And again, if you're looking to do two of them, I would put the smaller feet on the bigger one and I would use, you can get these. I don't get these at Hobby Lobby, but they do have all different ones at Hobby Lobby. You can get these at Hobby Lobby. Um, but I would probably put the larger one on the smaller legs and the medium one on the higher legs. Make sense? I'll grab you. Uh, I don't need any more boards if you're talking to me, Becky. I've got plenty of boards. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Um, I'll go through the comments. If you had any friends join us today, let me know so I can put your name in the bucket. I do want to send you a gift, okay? Oh, Kelly, thank you. Thank you for joining. I know, it was like, I've been up since like 6 o'clock this morning. I didn't sleep good last night. Maybe that's why I can't speak. I cannot speak today. Um, and I've already done a bunch of stuff, and I thought, why not? And honestly, it wasn't until five minutes before the live I decided to do this. I was still running around when I hit the live button, so... Thank you, Karen. Thanks for joining. Please, um, in the comments, put new if you're new. I really do want to welcome you, okay? Again, if you want the information on any of the pro uh, products I used today, I will be listing them over in the VIP lounge. If you would like information to get into the VIP lounge, just put VIP in your email and I will send you a link, okay? Thank you. Oh my God, you guys. I am tired because now you're going to make me cry. Thank you so much. I enjoy doing it so, so much. All right. Message me if you have any questions. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. Bye, everybody.